Hello children. Welcome to the second part of the chapter 3 social studies of class 4. The importance of the Himalayas. The Himalayas are very important for our country. They help us in many ways. Number one is the Himalayas act like a wall on our northern borders and protect our country from enemies. The Himalayas are acting like a great wall in the northern borders and they protect us, our country, from enemies. They also protect us from the cold winds blowing from Central Asia. Not only protect, protecting from enemies, they protect us from the cold winds which are blowing from Central Asia. The Himalayas stop the monsoon winds from going further north and thus bring heavy rainfall to the northern plains of India. And the Himalayas are stopping the monsoon winds. Monsoon winds cannot able to cross the Himalayan mountains. So, they bring heavy rainfall to the northern plains of India. The forests in the Himalayan region are home to several wild animals. They are also a source of wood, medicines and other useful things. And the forests of the Himalayan range are home to several wild animals and also a source of wood and medicines. Several rivers originate in the Himalayas. They provide us with water and make our land fertile. Dams built over these rivers provide us with electricity. So, the rivers are providing water and the dams which are made on the rivers are provide electricity. Life in the northern mountains. A number of states are located in the northern mountains. They are Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Sikkim, West Bengal, Assam, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, Tripura, Meghalaya and Arunachal Pradesh. So, first we will learn about Jammu and Kashmir. The state is almost entirely mountainous. It is very cold in winters. Srinagar is the summer capital and Jammu the winter capital of the state. The beautiful Kashmir valley is a favorite tourist. It is surrounded by snow covered mountains and has the lovely Dal and Ular lakes. So, the state is uh, almost entirely mountainous and it is very cold in winter. Srinagar is the summer capital and Jammu is the winter capital of the state. And the beautiful Kashmir Valley is a favorite tourist attraction and it is surrounded by snow covered mountains and lovely Dal and Ular Lake are there in this place. Houses on boats called house boats float on the lakes. These are mostly used as hotels, small boats called shikaras are used for boating and as floating shops. So, house boats in this lake are used as hotels and small boats are called shikaras are used for boating and floating shops. The traditional loose kurta worn by men and women in Kashmir is called firan. So, the traditional cloths are called firan. To keep warm in winters, people in Kashmir keep an earthen pot with burning coal known as kangri beneath their firan. So, to keep warm, they kept one earthen pots with burning coal which is known as kangris. So, in their firan they will keep it. The people of Kashmir make beautiful handicrafts from wood, brass, silver and papier mesh. Saffron is a special crop of the state. So, they make beautiful handicrafts and saffron is the special crop of the state. Kashmiri, Dogri, Urdu and Ladakhi are the languages spoken here. Eid and Shivaratri are the main festivals of this place. So, they speak Kashmiri, Dogri, Urdu and Ladakhi and Eid and Shivaratri are the main festivals. Next one is the Himachal Pradesh. Himachal Pradesh with its snow clad mountains is a very beautiful state. Its capital is Shimla. <clears throat> Thousands of tourists visit the hill stations of Shimla 
डालहौसी कुल्लू एंड मनाली एवरी ईयर सो हिमाचल प्रदेश विथ इट्स स्नो क्लाड माउंटेन्स इज वेरी ब्यूटिफुल स्टेट इट्स कैपिटल इज शिमला थाउजेंड्स ऑफ टूरिस्ट विजिट द हिल स्टेशन ऑफ शिमला दाल हाउसी कुल्लू एंड मनाली द टॉय ट्रेन विच टेक्स पीपल फ्रॉम कलका टू शिमला इज ए स्पेशल अट्रैक्शन सो द टॉय ट्रेन इज द स्पेशल अट्रैक्शन ऑफ दिस प्लेस द क्लाइमेट हियर इज आइडियल फॉर द ग्रोथ ऑफ फ्रूट्स लाइक एप्पल्स चेरीज प्लम्स एप्रिकॉट्स एंड पीचेस सो दिस क्लाइमेट इज सुटेबल फॉर growth fruits like apples cherries plums and apricots and peaches the traditional clothes of women include tight pajamas and loose kurtas with scarves around their heads the men wear tight pajamas and loose shirts with colorful caps so the clothes of women are tight pajamas and loose kurtas and scarf around their head and the men wear tight pajamas and loose shirts with colorful caps <coughs> hindi is the official language of the state but people mostly speak pahari the main festivals are dasara and diwali the dasara celebrations of kullu are famous so hindi is the official language of the state and people speak pahari the main festivals are dasara and diwali the dasara celebrations of kullu are famous so children in our next video we will learn the remaining part of this lesson thank you